Hello and welcome into the Pioneer Weekly Recap and Preview Show. I'm Brian Staten here for the Pioneer Sports Network. It has been a big week for Pioneer basketball as they have enjoyed a couple of games here at home as the Pioneers have played a three-game homestand, which will still be played this week. Talk about that coming up. But the Pioneers 4-0 and during the homestand combined, both the men and the women. The Pioneers now riding a seven-game winning streak and the Pioneer men now a two-game winning streak as they moved themselves at 2-4 and four in South Atlantic Conference action. Of course, you can enjoy the final of those three game homestands against the uh, Carson Newman Eagles on Wednesday. We'll talk a little bit more about that coming up, plus a road game this week to Wingate University. Pioneer women have won seven consecutive games. We'll play the uh, Carson Newman Eagles and more on that game as far as the D2SIDA poll is concerned as well. It's a Pioneer basketball program that has uh, right now thriving, so we'll see if that can continue. There have been so much that has gone on. Obviously, we've talked a lot about basketball this year, but now it's time to get into indoor track and field. Congratulations to Guillaume DeVries. This past week at the ETSU Invitational, he was named the Men's Field Athlete of the Meet at the uh, Invitational at ETSU. He is provisionally qualified for the NCAA Division II Indoor Track and Field Championships for the high jump. He gets the win in the high jump, was one of six individual top 10 finishes for the Pioneers on the final day of the two-day event. DeVries, out of France, competed in a field of 14 jumpers, passed, uh, what, six foot 10, continued to, to that mark, and became his, the second best jump in the South Atlantic Conference this season. Congratulations to Guillaume DeVries, who became the athlete of the meet in the contest at ETSU and once again provisionally qualifies for that uh, Division II uh, meet. The Pioneers also have some uh, news as far as the football is concerned. Very interesting that uh, it would come this late. But the Pioneers have had a few guys who were named to the Hanson All-Region football team. As a matter of fact, three of them. Offensive lineman Kevion Broadwater, linebacker Ivan Hogans, and safety Malik Goodman. Broadwater out of Gaffney, South Carolina, earns his second All-Region honor after being named at second team a year ago. He was a first team South Atlantic Conference selection this year. Hogan the sophomore out of Stockbridge, Georgia, was named All-Conference First Team Defense this year as he gets named and to the All-Region team. He recorded 10 or more tackles five times in 2018, including a season-best 14 at Lenore Rhyme. Meanwhile, Goodman, the junior out of Jacksonville, Florida, finishing fifth on the team with 48 tackles, including five for losses, sack, and interception, forced to fumble, and broke up two passes as well. He's recorded 146 career tackles here at Tusculum with 15 career passes defended. Congratulations to those three being named to the Hanson All-Region team. Talk a little bit about basketball and the rankings this week. The D2SIDA poll for the Tusculum women, they've jumped up a couple of spots. They have moved to a tie for fourth. Who are they tied with? Well, a team that they'll play this week in the Carson Newman Eagles. The D2SIDA rankings, not a lot of change at the top before this Pioneer basketball team. After two wins this past week, now riding a seven-game winning streak, they have moved into that number four spot. Anderson stays atop the rankings, followed by wins over Carson Newman and Newberry. They had that week that the Pioneers are getting ready to have. North Georgia is second. Newberry remains third. Wingate dropped a couple of spots to number six as Tusculum and Carson Newman control that number four spot in the D2SIDA rankings, followed by Wingate. Pioneers will play Carson Newman on Wednesday, and then the Wingate Bulldogs, they'll get a chance to take them on on Saturday of this week. Pioneers would like to honor our Zaxby's Athletes of the Week. We've talked a little bit about him already, and we haven't said a whole lot about her, but... Welcome to the Zaxby's Athletes of the Week, Guillaume DeVries, along with Mia Long. DeVries was named the Men's Field Athlete of the Meet at ETSU on Saturday, provisionally qualifying for the NCAA Division II Indoor Track and Field Championships. He competed in a field of 14 jumpers. 
uh, six foot ten, continued uh, to make one of the second best jumps in the South Atlantic Conference this season. Congratulations to Guillaume DeVries. Mia Long averaged 19 points, seven and a half steals as the Pioneers picked up wins over Mars Hill and Coker and extend their winning streak to seven games. She had 15 points and seven steals against Mars Hill. And then uh, Pioneers in that game shot seven of 12 from the field. She had a career high three three pointers in the victory over Coker as uh, coming through in a big way. Congratulations to Mia Long and Guillaume DeVries for coming through as our Zaxby's Athletes of the Week this week. You may have noticed it on the programs for the uh, Pioneers, MHP, and what that means. For many of us, it has been a time of healing over the last couple of weeks as we have lost one of our longest, most dearest friends and supporters of this university. Of course, for Mary Helen Paxton, it was always college. At 92 years of age, you would have thought, well, you know, she's been around, she's seen a lot. And it's the case, the 1948 graduate here at Tusculum College, as she would have had it and had to have known it, has passed away just after Christmas on December 27th after some failing health. But she was the true or the epitome of what Pioneer has always meant and what it is. Trendsetter, the first of anything. She was the reason that there was a super fan award. She was probably the reason there was a benefactor award. Longtime college student, longtime lover of Tusculum College because she worked here. When I started my broadcasting career, she had pretty much hung it up. She had pretty much already retired. So she was traveling around with basketball teams because that was her true love of the sport. But she loved all student athletes and she loved every athletic event here at Tusculum and was just at about every single one. Now I didn't see her at a whole lot of soccer games because she would come and tell me she didn't quite understand the sport very much, but still would attend, especially if it was a meaningful game, a, a rivalry type of a game. She passes away, and not only do we lose a great friend and do we lose a great supporter, but we lose one of those people that just loved being around Tusculum. As I did start my broadcasting career and she would travel on a lot of the games, she was responsible in making sure the coaches didn't forget me. Her and Joyce Combs, her partner in crime, as I called him, would come to many of the games in the early years of the South Atlantic Conference and travel on the bus when the teams weren't as big. But as the teams became bigger, they would come less, but they would always listen and they would be a part of the broadcast. There will be a wreath in her seat at Pioneer Arena this year. Maybe you've seen it during some of the basketball games. That is the reason. She was our biggest fan. She was our biggest benefactor, and Tusculum College mourns her loss. One thing that I can take and know and, and feel at peace about is the week before Christmas, while she was sitting around listening to Justin and I broadcast from two separate locations in Tigerville, South Carolina, and in Wilson, North Carolina, North Greenville University and Barton. She heard on two separate occasions from two separate cities, Pioneers win. She always had one of the best seats in the house. She just has a better seat now. Gone from here, but for those who knew her from here, know that she's in a much better place. And we'll see her again one day. Mary Helen Paxton, one of the best here at Tusculum College. Big week for the Pioneers. Don't forget, it's Pack the Arena Night, Tusculum and Carson Newman. They'll do battle on Wednesday. She'll have a great seat for that one. She'll also have a great seat when we travel to the Cuddy Arena in Wingate, North Carolina, as basketball resumes their play. We're getting ready for the spring sports. We've already announced baseball schedules, softball schedules. We've got softball camps coming up just ahead of the season as well. A lot getting ready to happen here for the spring sports, for lacrosse, for tennis, and for golf. There's a lot coming, so stay tuned right here to the Pioneer Sports Network just for that. This has been a look at this week in Tusculum Athletics, the weekly recap and preview show for everybody involved with the Pioneer Sports Network. Behind the scenes here at Tusculum is Nick Forsberg, Jim Miller, and Dom Donnelly. I'm Brian Staten, and until next week, go Pioneers.